showing you how to do the Kardashian three-piece French braid on the side of your head. And as you saw from the pictures, the Kardashians wear them all the time, especially Kylie and Kendall. And I love, I've always watched their show and loved how it looked, so I thought I would try it out. And it's not perfect yet, I'm still working on it, but I thought I would do a tutorial just to show you guys and get the look out there, because I think it's really cute. So anyway, here are some tips and tricks, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so as you can see, I just have my hair curled. And for this look, you're going to want to have your hair parted on the side like I normally do. And you're going to use the side that has less hair. So just to do that, I'm going to section this part off with a bobby pin. I know I'm going to look kind of funny. But that just helps it stay secure so you don't grab that side of the hair on accident. So you're going to make sure this is, my part is not straight at all, but that's okay. And... Just comb it out so you don't have any, don't come across any um, knots. So first, you're just going to take a small section of hair in the front, just about that thick. And it's really hard because, yes, these are really small little braids. But you're going to try to section it into three equal pieces. It's not going to be perfect. It's just impossible to make it perfect. I've tried. And... So do the best you can and just start braiding it like normal just once. Then grab a section of hair to add to it just like normal. Pull it through, grab hair on this side, add it to this piece of hair, and pull it over. And just continue doing that. It's going to be very hard to grab equal sections and make an even or make a straight part. As you probably saw, it wasn't that perfect. But that's because unlike the Kardashians, we don't have people doing our hair every day for us. I wish we did, but we don't. So we have to just do it like normal. <laughs> and yeah, so I guess... As long as you know how to French braid, this look is really easy. Um, if you don't know how to French braid, there's a ton of tutorials online. I haven't made one yet. I might if you guys need me to, but this is pretty self-explanatory. So I'm just going to keep fast-forwarding through it. And um, you'll just see how I do it, even though I've really already explained it. But, yeah. So anyway, once you finish however big you want the braid or how long you want it, I only keep it till about like that long. You're just going to braid it. Make sure it's really tight. And once you have braided it down to where your part ends, you're going to stop there and take, take a hair tie, the clear ones like in my other videos, and just wrap it around once. And it fits perfectly and then just pull it tight and it will stay. That's pretty much it. I'm going to keep going and doing the rest. So just keep watching and I will show you the finished product soon. Okay, so now that I have the three braids done, I am going to tease my hair and then take this out. Okay, so I'm going to tease my hair and then we're going to take out the little ties because I don't like the way that looks. Okay, so I will be doing that very shortly. not tease very much but it's just a little more volumized and you're going to take these little ties out
and I'm going to pin that one just for now and take the other one out and the other one out and then you're going to pin them all together in the end. Okay, and then I would re-tease these pieces. And, yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much it, and yeah, nice and easy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I know I didn't really explain it very much because as long as you know how to sell French braid, it is very easy. It's just hard because those pieces are so small, but it looks pretty good if you ask me, and I think the messier it looks, the cuter it is, because if it's perfect, you don't want it to be like cornrows like stuck to your head, you know, so... Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and be sure to subscribe to my channel and leave comments on what videos you would like me to do next. And yeah, have a good day.